happy Sunday. So, I am currently on my way to bring Raja to the groomers because it's been a minute since she's been at the groomers. And I was supposed to do a photo shoot today for Kia Babies, but it is like super gloomy out and gross, so I rescheduled to the photographer. But yeah, Raja is super gross right now, so she needs to go to the groomers. Um, she was just in heat, so that's the reason why she hasn't been in a little bit. Um, and to be honest, it's just a lot with three dogs, <laughs> but she needs a haircut really bad. And I do need to schedule the other two to go to the groomers. Um, but one dog at a time. So yeah, um, I was supposed to do a photo shoot, but that got rescheduled, so I decided to take her to the groomers. Um, the babies are back home. We are gonna go to the groomers. Yeah, Russia. Um, I'm gonna go to get Starbucks. I tried the, those two new Starbucks drinks, the like golden ginger and then the pineapple matcha. Um, and Cameron was very disappointed because we tried them yesterday together. I want to do a video, but I didn't have my camera and we stopped at Starbucks. So, yeah, the golden ginger is disgusting. It has way too much ginger. I think if you don't like ginger, you're not going to like it. Um, and I'm not a huge ginger person, I guess. Um, it was just too much for me. It was too, too, too much. But the pineapple matcha wasn't bad. I think you need to like matcha to like it. Because um, the pineapple is very faint in it. It's not very strong. Uh, but I like matcha and I liked, I liked the pineapple matcha. I drank it all. Um, the golden ginger, no, not it. Wasn't happening, disgusting, did not like it. So I kinda wanna talk about this. Of course, everyone's talking about it right now, but the coronavirus, it's a little scary. Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't very scared of it at first, but now with everyone like freaking out, everyone wiping the shelves clean and all that jazz it's starting to freak me out a little bit i'm not gonna lie um i'm not worried about like food or anything because my house i have a stockpile i have so much stuff so i'm not worried about that in that aspect but the fact that how everyone else is acting it's like should i be more concerned or should i be more scared why do you do that every time you're in the car what's wrong what's wrong huh what's wrong what's wrong um, she's like panting. She always does that when she's in the car. Coronavirus is like starting to freak me out. I had a work conference the other day and my boss was talking about it. And today he told me I am no longer gonna be in office until further notice. Um, he said assume two weeks. So that's kind of scary. I'm kind of thankful that my boss is letting me work from home for the next two weeks. I mean, going forward, um, you guys are gonna know some things Soon. I don't know when I'll tell you guys, but remember I was telling you there's a lot of changes are happening. With one of those changes, I will be working mainly from home um, for the foreseeable future, but I will like to stay in office as much as I can just to kind of get out of the house and stuff. But yeah, that's something that's happening. Um, but I'm kind of like glad my boss is like letting me work from home right now just because, you know, I have little babies at home. Like I don't want them getting sick, but lots of hand sanitizer here. Lots of hand washing, keeping myself clean, myself healthy. So, yeah, um, that's my gist of it. Um, I hope you guys are staying healthy too and being safe and, you know, doing what's best for your family. Um, definitely important. Um, definitely important to keep yourself clean and that's the biggest thing. Keep it hydrated because that's the best thing is to do to wash it down because um, it could only, like, survive. I forget what they say it can survive in your mouth for. Um, but keep fluids going and hydrated and you know, wash your hands. I should have to say this, wash your hands, hand, hand sanitize your hands. Raj, come here mama, you're okay, come on. She's like crying. Um, are you ready to go get a haircut? Are you ready to go get a haircut? You look like a good new girl. Yes you are. Hey guys, so I just dropped off Raja. My poor little baby was shaking like a dang leaf. 
I don't know what it is. Normally when I take her in, I take Jackson in at the same time. So they normally always go together. So they're like there for each other as like a support system. But <clears throat> Jackson obviously was with me today. So she was like freaking out. Now I'm on my way home. Before I go home, I'm gonna stop at the Dollar Tree quick. Since Landon's birthday party is this weekend, um, it's on Sunday. I'm still super nervous about it, but I told everyone, if you're sick, don't come. If you're feeling sick, don't come. Um, but I still want to have something. It's super, super small. It's at my house. There's only like a few of us um, going. So yeah, um, I just need to get some wrapping paper for some of his gifts. And then I need to grab um, paper plates and stuff. I'm gonna see what they have there. Um, if they have any like green or blue like um, works and stuff. So I'm gonna see what they have there. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't believe he's gonna be two. Like I have a two year old. Like my little Asher turns three months tomorrow. Where do these babies go? Like I swear, like you blink and they just are like teenagers. I have footage from when we took Landon to the trampoline park when we were in New Mexico over the weekend, last weekend, the weekend before. And he had so much fun. Um, so I'm gonna insert those clips here. <laughs> 